Good morning, Jesse Clark. It is Wednesday, November 2nd. It is Wellness Wednesday here at Jesse Clark. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The weather after school today will be 68 degrees and cloudy, and tomorrow morning at the bus stop, 53 degrees, sunny and mild. For lunch today, you have a choice of pizza or a mini corn dog. Those come, or mini corn dogs, those come with sweet potato fries, corn, and a choice of fruit. If you're not interested in pizza or mini corn dogs, you can get a yogurt and cheese plate or a chef salad. For lunch tomorrow, you have a choice of a turkey deli sandwich or a ham deli sandwich. Those come with Cheez-Its, baby carrots, and a choice of fruit. If you're not interested in a turkey deli sandwich or a ham deli sandwich, you can get a peanut butter and jelly uncrustable or a chef salad. On our recent mental health survey, almost half of the students at Jesse Clark said that they could use some help managing stress and anxiety. So each Wellness Wednesday here on the Morning News, we will share a stress management technique. Here is today's strategy. Hello. Today we are going to discuss taking the perspective of others and empathy. First, let's start by understanding the two terms. Taking the perspective of others can be described as having the ability to understand how a situation appears to another person. Empathy can be described as having the ability to understand the thoughts, feelings, or emotions of someone else. Sometimes, empathy can also be described as having sympathy or even being compassionate about someone or something. When taking the perspective of someone else, it is important to listen and be attentive to the information they are sharing with you. This will help you understand their reactions and understand why they may be feeling the way that they are. With perspective taking, it is important to understand that we all may view or see things differently, and that's okay. For example, imagine going to a movie with your family. You might be there because you really want to see the new film. Your mom might go because she really likes the popcorn and snacks. And your dad might go because he enjoys taking naps. Or, think of a time when you were playing a game and you lost. You might feel sad or upset, but your mom might feel happy because no matter what, you at least tried your best. An example of empathy could be feeling the same amount of excitement as a friend when they tell you they got a new puppy for Christmas or received an A on their math test. Empathy can also be feeling or showing the same amount of worry or compassion when a classmate has to move to another state or when a family member loses their job. Can you think of a time in which someone showed empathy towards you? How can you work on seeing a situation from a classmate's perspective? Has there been a time when you were around someone that was happy or mad? How did you know what they were feeling? How did that make you feel? Thanks for watching. Don't forget, click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Lessons for SEL and be sure to follow us on social media. Remember, today's schedule is that you go to first period, then your SEL class, then second period. Have a great Wellness Wednesday. Thank you to all the teachers and paras that helped with Arts and Culture Night last night. You did an amazing job. Mrs. Martin's booth at Arts and Culture Night offered a chance to win a free KBA book. The winners of those books are Piper Griffin from the Emperor Team. You have won a copy of Dress Coded by Carrie Firestone. Harper Ferris, also from the Emperor Team, you won a copy of Whispering Pines. And last but not least, Caleb Sosby, you won a copy of Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. You folks need to stop by Miss Henry's room at some point today and pick up your free book. Thanks to everyone that attended Arts and Culture Night last night. Photo Club will meet after school today in room 511, that's in the Explorer Pod, from general dismissal until 5.15 p.m. Today's photo submission is by Pablo Gonzalez Mendez. Nice work, Pablo. 
Wildlife Club meets tomorrow. If you want to hang out, meet new friends, play games, go to Great Wolf Lodge and hear about God, then Wildlife Club is for you. Wildlife Club meets Thursday in Mrs. Hilbert's room. Remember, do not go to Mrs. Hilbert's room until general dismissal is called. Everyone is welcome at Wildlife Club, and we hope to see you there. Intramural volleyball begins next Monday, this coming Monday. Volleyball will be played on Monday and Wednesday, Friday mornings, starting at 7.45 a.m. The cost is $1, and all students are welcome. The JCMS volleyball teams competed against Winburn last night and won all three matches. Way to go, Eagles. Their next match will be tomorrow, Thursday, at Southern Middle School. Good luck, Eagles. Lacrosse fall ball starts next week. As a reminder, all student athletes should bring a lacrosse helmet, stick, gloves, and cleats or tennis shoes. You must have a valid KHSAA physical to participate in lacrosse. If you have any questions, please see Coach Ford in the gym. Picture Makeup Day will be first period next Thursday, November 10th. If you were absent on Picture Day, this is your chance to have your picture taken for the yearbook. Students, please stand. Teachers, please check that all students have their Chromebook and all students are in dress code. All right, students, at this time, please check that your phone is turned off and stored either in your locker, your backpack, or your pocket. And remember, here at Jesse Clark, our school-wide expectations are we value self, value others, and value learning every person, every day. Have a great Wellness Wednesday, Jesse Clark.